Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am so thrilled you're with me today. We are heading into Trader Joe's to do a grocery haul. Now we go to Trader Joe's every two weeks. And we went one week earlier than when we should have went because all the fall stuff, there was some fall stuff, you'll see that in this video, but we would have waited one more week. I heard that they just brought everything out. So we're heading back this week to grab some more things that we need for the house and definitely some more seasonal fall goodies. So at the end of this video, I will definitely be showing you everything that we bought because I can't talk as fast as the camera's moving. It would just be gibberish. I wouldn't even understand what I'm saying. So I am gonna go over everything at the end of this video of everything we bought and then what we spent. Feel free to skip everything, go to the end, or just follow me as I just talk about life and things over this next four minutes. So one of the questions I'm asked all the time, I thought I would address it, is what is your shopping schedule like? You have 13 people. How often do you shop? Where do you shop and how do you do it? So here's my schedule. We go to Costco every single week. Every week we're at Costco. Every two weeks I go to Trader Joe's and, and I go to Aldi. Now on the weeks I don't go to Trader Joe's and Aldi, I go to Whole Foods and my co-op. But every single week we go to Costco. And then we also have a discount grocery store that we absolutely love. I stop in there once a week as well before I go shopping into the city to do shopping anywhere because sometimes I find the things I need way cheaper than I would at some of these other stores that I'm shopping at. That is kind of like our routine um, when we are out grocery shopping. And because we're feeding 13 people, it always looks like we're buying so much food and we really are buying a lot of food but I make my meal plan before I leave my house. So I go through my house and I look over everything and I make meals from what I have on hand and we buy the things that we have run out of, like those maple leaf cookies. No, I'm just kidding. Those are really good though. If you find those, you've got to try them. And then what I don't have, I know I got to pick up at the grocery store. Now, when the seasons come up like this, I like to add in extra special meals like We'll do like a German apple pancake or we make a lot more homemade applesauce. So I have to buy different things than I normally do during the other parts of the year. For instance, the acorn squash you're seeing in my cart, I typically don't buy that. They don't always have those things in the store. And we're, when we can buy that, it'll be like $1.50 a pound where that acorn squash was only $1.49 each. So it's a huge difference. But then there's some things that I'll always get. My menu plans do change. I drop those menu plans in my shorts and other platforms um, every single week. We are creating a blog space where I'm gonna have all the recipes in my menus. All of my weekly menus will be posted. I do have highlights and other video and um, highlights and other platforms. You can go back and look at the other things. I'm always happy to share that with you things are changing. I like to keep things and in, things interesting. My husband's always telling me just pick five meals and stick with it. But I don't know. That's just not me. I like to kick things up a little bit and change things. And I love to be in the kitchen. So it comes just a little bit easier for me. Those candles right there. If you find those candles at your Trader Joe's, you need to buy them. I am an essential oil girl through and through, but I do like clean candles. I looked at the ingredients. They were just fine and they smell so good. I'm already burning them and when I go back again, if they have any left, I'm buying more. Anyways, our Trader Joe's isn't really big. It's kind of small. It's in a really small space. As you can see, it's on, we have to park underneath it. I don't know, maybe your Trader Joe's is bigger, but I'm able to get through my store in under an hour easily. And that's getting everything that we need. And we always leave with what we came in there looking for, which is really nice. Even when things were really, really rough, you know, a year and a half ago, I could still walk into Trader Joe's and I could still find the products that we needed. So I don't mind making the trip. I don't mind making the haul down there because they do what they gotta do. They're stocking the shelves. And so at least in our area, I've had a lot of good luck with that. And I save a ton of money. I don't know if it's like that by you, but our Trader Joe's is priced really, really well. Like the potatoes, the cheapest, the snacks, the popcorn, the flowers, just everything is priced so well. And it smelled like cinnamon as we were walking around. So it really gets you into the fall season like immediately. It really does. But when we finished our shopping haul, we headed back to more shopping. But I'm going to show you now at the very end here 
um, what we bought and the total of everything put together. And I think I even got this haul on one table. Costco takes me like three times. I've got to change this camera out three times with all the different groceries, but here it is. Here's everything I got at Trader Joe's. Um, I'll show you the, uh, the total in just a minute. Let's start with the noodles. We bought five or six packs of noodles. The spiral noodles are great for like macaroni and cheese, any type of pasta dishes. They're super clean, they're organic. So you don't have to worry about the glyphates. Um, and the colors come from actually fruits and veggies, which is wonderful. The spaghetti noodles, we got four packs of those. The noodles are all under $2, which I think it also is a really good price. And we have the spaghetti noodles just for backup because things happen and spaghetti is like big backup in my house. It's really easy to put together in like, you know, 30 minutes and you're good to go. There's the potatoes. They're all under $4 a bag, maybe $4.99, but I think they were $3.99 a bag. Don't quote me on that. We got nine of those. We got three golden, three rusted, three red. And we put that in our soups and our stews. We'll make fried potatoes, hash browns, you name it. We got it covered and we will go through three bags at one time. There's that pumpkin gnocchi. If you have a great recipe, drop it down below in the comments. I still don't know what I'm doing with that, but it looked delicious. So it's one of those things I don't typically buy, but I bought. We bought some colorful cauliflower for our charcuterie board. $3.99 a bag. A little bit more than what I normally like to spend, but um, it was just one of those things again. <laughs> I have a couple of those things in this video. Uh, the green apples for homemade applesauce. I did drop our homemade applesauce recipe in one of the shorts here on YouTube. You can check that out. And the garlic is another really good price, um, like $1.69, and we go through a head of garlic with every meal. I'm not even kidding. Uh, we absolutely love this mix of cabbage and kale and Brussels sprouts and spinach. It's so good. We'll mix this in with the broccoli slaw, and once a week I love to make this meal and get some goodness into my children because sometimes you know they just need that extra extra goodness and when you add the apples and the walnuts and the dijon mustard and the mayo and all that it's just yum 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 there's the acorn squashes now i love these acorn squashes are just my favorite they were a dollar 49 each so i got seven of those we're gonna fill them with like some wild rice if you eat like italian sausage you can put some italian sausage in there maybe just sprinkle them with a little bit of honey and butter or just some sea salt you just cut them open scoop out the seeds flip them upside down with a little bit of water in a pan stick them in the oven and there you got so good turkish apricots everything is clean now no sulfates nothing like that no preservatives love those apricots there we usually go through two bags in a week because we use them in trail mix and then charcuterie boards and all that kind of stuff lemons and limes yes i get at costco but they're not organic and I like my lemons and limes to be organic. And we can't go through five pounds in a week, so I do buy my Trader Joe's, and they're a good price as well. The avocados were under $5, and they're super delicious, like on just about everything you can imagine, including avocado pudding. There is that Ezekiel bread under $5 a loaf. We do make homemade uh, sourdough, but my kids like to like cut the, they like the sliced squares, and so I just buy it, and it's so good. There's the maple leaf cookies. You gotta try them if you're there. Just pick up a box. Only once a year. You're not gonna, you're gonna thank me. Let me know if you get them what you think. The sunflower buttercups are also really good. Those are in our snack cart. We got some coconut, shredded coconuts for our homemade granola. That Greek Kalamata um, extra virgin olive oil from Greece is delish under $10 a bottle and it's from One Origin, which is what you want. Some green onions, cause they're just green onions under $2 a package. We put those on everything and then we got 13 of the chomps, grass-fed beef sticks for co-op day because my boys and my girls are always hungry. So it's good to have some really good snacks on hand and so you'll see that we do have snacks but I try to keep them clean. Beets, beets and everything. They give you great energy but you also crush really hard so easy on the beets but I do put them in like juices and smoothies. I'll put them in like uh, with our salad, just kind of cut them up and roast them. And there's the, there's the candles, there's the candles. Honey crisp apple and vanilla pumpkin. Pick them up, you won't regret it. You will not regret it. They smell so much like fall. I just, I love them. Those chocolate chips now are very bitter. They're my favorite, low in sugar, they're organic. And I put them in all my muffins and my vegan chocolate chip cookies and my bread and my trail mix. They're my favorite. That popcorn is a lifesaver. I love making homemade popcorn, but if you're in a pinch or in a time crunch, 
you can just crack open the bag, extra virgin olive oil and salt. And then I also, you can see in my shorts here on YouTube, I did drop a bunch of popcorn recipes that I used that popcorn with, and I'm gonna be dropping more this week. There's the kidney beans, and there's the pincho beans. When I'm in a pinch, they're 99 cents a can. I got like, I think eight and eight. There's the coconut milk, the best coconut milk ever because there's nothing in it, <clears throat> which I absolutely love. Coconut milk has nothing in it. So if you're looking for coconut milk, that's the one you wanna grab. That fall kombucha is so amazing that now we make kombucha ourselves, but I'm gonna try it at hand. I'm gonna try making my own. I'm gonna see if I can get it to taste like that because I only sell it once a year. The raspberries were such a great deal. They came out to be, if you that's a 12 ounce bag, but if you were to break it down, I think $5.99 a pound. And at Costco, the fresh berries are almost $10 a pound right now. So it's a way better deal. And I'm making raspberry muffins, so I had to pick those up. I'm sure they'll be delicious. And at the very end of my haul here, I'm just kind of showing you our chamomile flowers. I've never had those before. They smell lovely. And I don't recall what the next bunch is. I'm sorry, I forgot the name. And then of course the sunflowers. And we're a week into them and they're still looking really good. So I love Trader Joe flowers. They do such a great job, not only on the flowers, but also on the price. So the total for everything, from the flowers to all the food, was $280.57. And that'll be for two weeks. And in two weeks, we'll go back again. But here it is. Here's everything we got. Um, this next haul that I'm going to have coming up will be a lot more fall. I heard they just got all their inventory in, so I'm a little excited about that. And you know that I'm going to share it all with you on the next video. So look for that video to drop next week. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support. If you already subscribed to this channel, I notice you, I see you. I wish I could message you, but I can't. So this is my way of saying thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're not already a subscriber and you loved what you saw today, would you mind hitting the subscribe button and maybe the notification bell so I can notify you when I drop new videos and new shorts. Thank you so much for being here and follow us for more.